Hi there everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I have some nitinol wire. This is the shape memory alloy. So if I open up this bag and get some out so you can see what it does. See how it's all bent out of shape. But if I heat it up with a torch, you can see it returns to its original straight shape. But now what if I wanted it to form into a shape that's different than just straight? Well, what I can do is bend it. <laughs> it's still warm so it's trying to resist being bent. And I just hold it in place. That'll work. And now when I heat it up, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to hold it against its tendency to bend back to straight. Get it up to red hot like that, hold it for a little while, and then let it cool. Now, assuming it's cooled off enough, now when I bend it straight, it'll actually return to that shape that I just formed it into. See that? <laughs> Probably should have done that with a better background, but you guys get the idea. And I want to use this today to make a Cody's Lab intro for a video. So, I'm going to bend this into Cody's Lab and then I need to hold it in place and heat it up so that it stays there. Well, let's get to bending. Now it does need to be able to fit into this area. So I'll keep that in mind. It's not going to be super large. Well, I worked on bending this up. I was going to explain how nitinol works, but I was informed that Engineer Guy had made a video on the subject, and he can explain it far better than I can. So if you're curious, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can go over to his channel. I do warn you, it's very bingeable. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put it in here. And I need to have a way to keep the wire from moving while I heat it. And to do that, I'm going to encase it in plaster. Actually, a mixture of plaster and sand. The sand helps keep the plaster from cracking when it's being heated. Put them down first. We want the wire to be kind of in the middle. Looks good. Let's keep going. You know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to make a little spring out of the nitinol. Nitinol springs can be quite useful after all. So here's the plaster. It is set up. It's still not dry, but to help it along, I'm going to peel away the cardboard tape just to give it a little bit more surface area for the air to pull the moisture off. And I am going to have to let this dry for quite some time otherwise it'll just shatter when I put it in the furnace. So the block of plaster has had a few days to completely dry out. You can see a little bit of the remnants from a bit of blood thermite I was playing with but that has nothing to do with this video. So now I'm going to put this down in the furnace. The plaster will still have quite a bit of water in it, so I'm going to have to heat it very slowly to drive that off and you know, not crack the plaster. I'm just going to turn this on low. The idea is to get it just above the boiling point of water to drive that all off, and then I can ramp up the heat. All right, we're almost at uh, 500 degrees. <laughs> plaster is still intact. Mm -hmm. So I think we're good to go ahead and crank it up. Okay, I think that's hot enough. Let's take a peek in here. Okay, plaster's a little cracked. I'm going an orange color. So yeah, I think that's good. Let's turn it off. And then just let it cool. 
Okay, it's mostly cooled off now. It's still a bit warm, but I'm getting impatient. So let's crack this open. Should be okay if I bend it a little bit, right? <laughs> It'll just go back. And here's the Cody slab. Eh, could look better, but let's see that's decent. Let's give this spring a whack. All right, if all's gone well, I should be able to stretch it out like that, then warm it up, and it'll go back. <laughs> it worked. Okay, so I've got some cold fire bricks set up. Here's the Cody's Lab thing. I'm just going to kind of unbend it slightly. I don't want to bend it too much. This material is amazing, but it's not magic. Okay. So now it's all bent up. I should just be able to reform it by heating it with a torch. Okay, <laughs> a little bit sideways, but well, that worked. <laughs> awesome. So that's how you uh, train shape memory alloy. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.